Okay, before rainbow time is quite over, I'll record one more. I'm kind of excited to find out what's in this one. Uh, like I said in my last one, I just discovered this little series back there. It's called Recognizing ETs, and this is 101, and there's a number of them. And I guess back in, in April and early May when I was writing these, I, I hadn't quite come out of the closet as far as being comfortable talking with you about such things. I wanted to stick with what's really important, which is being in heart and uh, the spirituality side of life. A lot of people um, blow up the ET thing into, they just make it more important than it really is. Relative to who and what we are, it's just another aspect of life. And it's, it's new and it's shocking and it's exciting, sort of, because it's been hidden from us for so long. But it, it doesn't need to take you off your path or, or um, be given too much importance so that you lose your footing uh, being lost in that topic. There are a lot of those that would like to take advantage of us that way. So let's stay on firm ground and be in heart. This is from 429-2010, the second one of that day. The Mayan day is 12 read, recognizing ETs 101. In my last journal entry, I spoke of following some false gods. <clears throat> no, not really. But I did manage to hook up with some ET beings through some channelers who, though their words were all the right ones, they were not. They were dark. It's, and I'm going to stop a minute and say a lot of times the channeler is not at all dark. They, they aren't. They are of the light. They are just misled. So I'm saying the beings were dark. It's interesting how these ET beings do this, how they manage to so deceive us. Part of it, my friends, is in the techno grid and the way it divorces us from our vibration, from our inner self. Another part, of course, is that many are in the mind, and that's the ET's main playground. They rule that roost. And finally, the third part is that until we begin to awaken and more of our chakras and senses and DNA comes online, we're easier to mislead. So there's a three-bagger for you that's in their favor, but no big deal for you're the winner and so am I. It's early innings yet, come to that. In our awakening, it's early on yet for oh so many are just arising. Just looking up and wondering, how on earth do I know that? Or What's that that I see? Or where from this inner understanding? Overall, the game's in the ninth inning with bases loaded, our guys are on, and we're about to hit a grand slam like no other's ever been. Each one plays a part. Each one is important, though dark. One's tactic has been to minimize, to put you down, to make little of you. Well, don't give in. Don't buy that rot. Great cosmic beings, that's what you are. So enter heart space and find that throne. Take back your life. They've owned it long enough, don't you think? I know I do. Here's how I did it, how I found center, took up my throne. First, I set my clear and stated, stated intent to be the highest that I could envision, and then kept adjusting it even higher as wisdom arose, as things were revealed. I've learned and had it confirmed that our intent is one of the strongest, most powerful aspects of our being, as far as controlling our life, steering our own ship of state is concerned. Next, I found heart space and set my intent to ever abide there, period. 
each one does these things on their own and in their own way, then from heart space I'd venture into this avenue or that one. I found I was led from there. I could follow where I'm drawn. Mostly this was clear, crisp direction. I just knew, but not always. And not every question gets an answer either, after all. The biggest two things about heart space I found were this initially. First, you have to leave mine behind. You have to check it at the door. And second, there's no fear in there. None. These were both amazements. And it took some time to test this, to check it out, get settled in. And then from that foundation, I found I could explore freely and I'd be guided. I learned to trust, in other words, in my own heart. The way that you do that, dear friends, is you make some mistakes. Come on, does a child learn to walk by just walking? Or does it do some falling down? Let's be reasonable here. The picture that's been painted for us keeps us corralled in fear of making mistakes, of being judged and found wanting. That whole thing's hell, the way I see it. Come out into the fresh air, take a deep breath of heart space, environment there. You'll find no fear here, not a trace. The air is pure and health-giving here. So that was my way. It all overlapped somewhat, of course. Nothing is as linear as it may seem or sound if you put it in words. The thing is that each one of us must find our own center. Call it what you will. It doesn't matter. Let's stop getting lost in the words. For once we find it, we're empowered beyond belief. Beliefs are no more required, for we've got the direct experience. There's room for faith, just not the kind we've been fed. We learn faith in heart space, in source or spirit, in God or life. We learn what real trust is. It's infinitely deep. It cannot be imagined from mind. That's perhaps the biggest distinction of all, is that mind cannot comprehend these things. I don't care if you give it a billion years and the highest IQ available times a million. It just doesn't matter. It's not a mind thing. Heart is a different realm. That's all I can say. I can't prove it to you. That's up to you anyway, not up to me. Your life's your own, so make decisions. Act on them. You'll get the answers, or you won't. A word to the wise, make friends with this phrase, I don't know. Get used to using it. For if you don't, you're not going far. How do I know that? Because it's proof you're still in mind. Won't give it up. And mine's not going there, no matter what. So beat your head bloody against the brick wall if that's your way. That works too, eventually. It's called the path of suffering, and it works in the long run. If you want the quicker route, though, take the no mind and try it on for a while. Explore its teachers. I've given many a recommendation along the way, the ones I followed. No, I'm no Buddhist, no one of any religion or path or teaching, not one. I find them all to have some light, but not all. And it is all that I'll settle for. Thus, I go my own way, and I caution each one to please consider doing the same. As long as we fall in with someone else's teachings and take their word for things, then we can be misled. We don't have it on our own authority, do you see? We're not grounded in truth. 
That's how the ETs who practice deception can do their thing. They can mislead. But once you've found your center and anchored in there, they cannot unseat you, can't scare or mislead. Once you are fearless, then they begin to fear you in a very real way. They know you're out of their reach, their grasp at any rate. It's a good place to be in. Come on in. The water's fine. This is 101, and there's a number of them. And I guess back in, in April and early May when I was writing these, I, I hadn't quite come out of the closet as far as being comfortable talking with you about such things. I wanted to stick with what's really in for life and it's it's new and it's shocking and it's exciting sort of because it's been hidden from us for so long but it it doesn't need to take you off your path or or um, be given too much importance so that you lose your footing uh, being lost in that topic there are a lot of those that would like to take advantage of us that way so let's stay on firm ground and be in heart this is from 429-2010, the second one of that day. The Mayan day is 12 read. Recognizing ETs 101. Okay, before rainbow time is quite over, I'll record one more. I'm kind of excited to find out what's in this one. Uh, like I said in my last one, I just discovered this little series back there. It's called Recognizing ETs, and this important, which is being in heart and uh, the spirituality side of life. A lot of people um, blow up the ET thing into, they just make it more important than it really is. Relative to who and what we are, it's just another aspect of